Okay, I got Trent. Everybody good? Yep. Okay, um, go ahead for whoever's up first. Well, Trent, uh, both Michigan and Indiana are, are thought of as kind of big man oriented teams. From your perspective, do you have a, a better matchup with either one of them? I mean, they're both two really good basketball teams. Um, obviously, with size, they, they they challenge us on that on that in that area, um, especially on the glass. Uh, but um, I mean, I don't really think it matters at this point. This, I mean, this is a Big Ten tournament. Everyone's fighting for their life to get to the final day, um, so it's going to be a bloodbath. You know, a twelve round fight. You know, for forty minutes. You know, uh, whoever we play. Does that mean you don't have a personal preference about which it is? No, I don't. Thanks, man. Congratulations on your award. Thank you. Hey, Trent, last week when we were speaking with Coach Underwood, and I guess you seniors as well, a few times it was mentioned that you guys kind of went into the Big Ten tournament with an extra edge, wanting to prove that you maybe felt slighted with what happened with the Big Ten regular season championship a year ago. Going into the Big Ten tournament this year, is it a similar mindset or is it a little bit different? Or I guess, can you just describe the team's mindset overall? Um, of course. Uh, I think we have to have that edge going into the tournament. Um, as you can see this year, you know, we've, we've been in a lot of dog fights, you know, um, late in the season. Um, everyone, you know, we're everyone's Super Bowl. So, you know, everyone wants to beat us. So we just got to have the mindset to go into this tournament, you know, where, you know, we're playing you know, with a target on that back and everyone wants to wants to get us. So, like I said, just having that mindset of just having that edge um, going in the tournament, um, feeling like, you know, you know, we still, you know, I would say underrated, I guess, um, and don't get enough props, but um, we just got to be mentally focused, you know, and be really, really hungry, you know, in every game. You mentioned that you guys feel like you're maybe a little bit underrated or maybe going unnoticed. Do you guys like that? Do you feel like that helps you carry a chip on your shoulder or play with an angry energy when you're go when you're on the court? Of course. Um, I think it's a good thing. I think it, it wakes everyone up. Uh, it gives everyone a different edge, you know, going into the game. Um, but, I mean, also, I mean, you know, we're still everyone's, you know, Super Bowl game. Everyone wants to come in and beat us every time they see us. So, I mean, like I said, we really just have to be mentally focused for, you know, 40 minutes every game. Well, especially just Thursday um, opening up. I mean, Friday opening up um, against whoever um, on knowing that, you know, we're going to get that team's best shot uh, despite, you know, whatever happened in the regular season. Uh, this is a different, you know, situation. And we know that we have to be mentally focused. Thanks, Trent. Good morning, Trent. Uh, second team, all Big Ten. For that, to, for you to get that, what's that mean to you? And does it mean anything more in your final year here at Illinois? Um, I mean, it means a lot. Um, I've always thought I was kind of, you know, pushed to the side, um, despite you know everything that's that's been going on. Um, I can you guys, you guys know, I don't really try to get into awards. Really, um, I really wanted the Defensive Player of the Year award. Um, that was my main goal. Um, I mean, that the second team really didn't excite me as, as much as, you know, winning that the other war. But um, I mean, it's a huge accomplishment. Um, it goes to show, you know, you know, how hard um, I've worked and, you know, um, you know, well deserved. And, you know, I'm really just focused on, you know, Friday and, you know, making sure, you know, this team is, you know, ready to go. I know you touched on this a little bit on Sunday, but after such an emotional game, an emotional scene, how do you guys turn the page going into Indy? Uh, we've been turning the page since uh, Monday. Um, so when we, once we came back in the oven, um, page was turned. It's uh, zero and zero, new season. Uh, we know it's when to go home now. So um, despite anything that happened in the regular season, it's a different season now, you know. Uh, like I said before, everybody's coming for our next. We know we're everybody's Super Bowl game. And we just got to be mentally ready for that and, and take on the challenge of, you know, just being, you know, us and being poised for 40 minutes and just going out there and competing. Thanks, Trent. Appreciate it. Hey, Trent, about a month ago, we didn't know what you guys would get out of Coleman Hawkins and Andre Curbelo. What have they given you down the stretch here? 
Uh, I think they just gave us a boost, you know, offensively. Uh, Bellows finding his groove, uh, his confidence, you know, he's working off all the dust that, you know, he hasn't, you know, that he had, you know, not being a part of us, this team um, for months. Uh, but uh, like I said, also Coleman playing with a lot of different edge. His confidence is through the roof right now. Um, and, you know, I mean, that's just what it's all about. That's what our season's been about. Next man up. And those two guys stepped up big time for us. And, um, you know, I think we're peaking at the right time, especially just getting those two, adding those two guys to, you know, where we, where we, where we are headed. Um, and it, I think it's going to be really, really good for us. And obviously those guys' roles might be different than what they thought at the beginning of the year. What, what do you think it says about them, the program, you guys, that, that they've kind of seemingly bought into maybe different roles? Oh, it means a lot to see, you know, how they bought in. Um, obviously their mindset, um, especially Bello, you know, him being a preseason All-American, you know, um, uh, Coleman, you know, is probably could, could be one of the best players in his league. Um, but um, just to see, you know, how they how they uh, change their roles to, to buy into what coach want, you know, to do whatever to help his team win is, is very important. Like I said, it's, it's very it's nice to have them. You know, peak at this time, especially going into Big Ten tournament, um, it, it's going to make this team really, you know, unique. And, you know, it, it brings a different dynamic, you know, to, you know, different lineups and, um, you know, roles on this team. Thanks, Trent. Appreciate it. Hey, Trent, you guys obviously had really high expectations for yourselves as a team during the regular season. Now, turning to the postseason, do you, you guys as a team have greater expectations for yourselves? Do you feel that from the outside? And if so, how do you kind of deal with that in, in this type of winner go home uh, kind of season? Um, I kind of, I mean, I think it just it comes with experience I mean, from me, um, just being for playing for, for five years now. Um, I think the most pressure I've had was last year playing with Ayo. I mean, it was, you know, the, the level he played at, um, you know, and his focus around this time was incredible. Um, and I think, you know, to be able to be be a part of that and get through that with him kind of just, you know, leveled me, you know, at a, at a time right now where I can just be focused. Um, you know, um, pressure doesn't really bother me, you know, at this time because of that in my experience. But um, as a team, I think, like I said, I think the biggest thing is just us going in with a level head, um, just knowing that everyone's coming for us and we know that we're going to have a target on our back. We just got to be ready to accept that and take on the challenge to, you know, go out there and just be us and, you know, just get the job done. And with the regular season now put to bed, do you kind of look back and how do you, how do you best sum it up with all the injuries and, and the COVID and everything now that, you know, you guys are the number one seed going into the tournament and kind of where you want to be at this point? Um. Like I said, I mean, our season was unique. I mean, um, like I said, with injuries, COVID, guys being suspended, I mean, we really didn't get our whole team and play a game with our whole team until second semester, um, which is insane to me. Um, but just to see how far we've come together and see how, you know, how well we immediately, you know, tighten up our, you know, our group together for us to get to the, to this point is, is incredible. And it goes to show, you know, how much we care about each other. You know, uh, we also, we all have the same mindset, same goal to, you know, to win. And, and I'm, like I said, I'm glad we're peaking at the right time, you know, heading into the tournament Friday. Um, and I think it's very important, you know, that we continue to just, you know, stay together. Big strength. Do you feel like there are any similarities maybe between this time last year and now? I mean, it's just how you feel like the team is playing or maybe kind of the vibe around the team? Any, anything uh, nah, you can maybe necessary. compare to? I mean, I think there are two different seasons, especially with COVID. Um, these are by far two different, you know, seasons. Uh, that I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't really find any similarities. I mean, as far as, you know, everyone being – Everyone having the same mindset, you know, same goal, you know, wanting to go into every game and win. Um, 
and just playing hard for one another. I mean, that's as far as I can, you know, see. But as far as season-wise, I mean, um, you know, I, I would say last year and this year are two differently, two, two different uh, seasons. All right. Thanks, Trent. Trent, you mentioned that uh, the season's been unique, obviously, with uh, suspensions, injuries, and not having the team uh, until the second half of the semester, or the second semester. Um, but you find yourself, you know, winning the Big Ten Conference to share the Big Ten title, um, being the number one seed into the Big Ten tournament. What aspect of the team or who on the team, you know, after losing Io, allowed you guys by the end of the season to almost eclipse, if not, you know, be at the same level of the team in terms of success that you were last year? Um, I think it just comes with experience. I mean, having having a lot of core guys back, you know, basically our whole starting five back um, um, was important for this team. Um, you know, bringing Kofi back, having Jake, having Monte, having Bello, um, I think it's important because you have, you know, older guys who's been through it, uh, been in those situations. Um, like I said, had experience last year in the tournament and know what it takes, you know, to, to win and knowing you got to compete at a high level, you know, to win. So, uh, but I think the biggest thing for us was our freshmen, um, really buying in, uh, having that confidence uh, in themselves um, and coming to practice every day, pushing us um, and just competing hard. And just the biggest, biggest thing, just mentally staying dialed in, you know, like I said, it was a next man up mentality season. Um, and they all, they've all been ready every time their name was called and um, stepped up and they've been huge for us. So I think that was really a uh, really key goal for key, key goal for this team um, uh, on, you know, us excelling, you know, in our season. But um, yeah, I think it was really just, you know, having our younger guys have the confidence to, to step up and, and make plays for us. All right. Thank you, Trent. Mm -hmm. Trent, kind of on a similar theme, it seems like you guys have played almost kind of every possible lineup imaginable with all these kind of injuries and COVID. I guess having to play in so many different ways, does that lend itself to any advantages this time of year? Oh, for sure. I mean, teams don't really prepare for, you know, the different lineups we throw at we throw at people. Um, um, like I said before, it's the freshmen. Uh, we, it kind of gives us a different look um, because they're, they're playing well. They're always ready when their name is called. Uh, but I think it just makes it challenging for other, you know, coaches to scout us because of our, our different lineups. We go small. We go, you know, big sometimes. We play with three guards. So just giving, you know, teams different looks, you know, um, makes it makes us, you know, uh, difficult to, you know, guard. Thanks, Trent. Okay, we'll let that uh, wrap it be the end for Trent here. Uh, Trent, keep it on, just hit mute, and we'll get Plummer in there. Okay, thank you.